Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the fourth episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can exploit the unquoted service path which comes under the service exploit section. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or get uh, updates regarding the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous video, we discussed uh, something like this. So these are all the links that I'm going to showcase in this video will be available in the description below. So you can do check them out from there. So this is my notes, uh, which is available on GitHub. So you can uh, keep note of that and uh, coming to this is the repository uh, this is the room that we are working on like for, uh, for some days and uh, the one we are working with uh, previously is like service exploit so we know windows services are like some kind of applications which run in the background so to keep it simple so here we will be seeing something called as unquoted service path so what happens is like i'll just give you a brief and once uh, I'll tell you how you can find out those and then I'll uh, tell you how you can exploit that as well. So unquoted service path in the sense like so every service has some kind of binary right or an application right. So it should be encoded within an uh, quotes. Okay, so what happens if it is uh, not encoded within a quotes is what we'll be discussing now. So to keep, to, to keep it simple, we'll be trying to exploit those service paths which doesn't have quotes covered. Okay, so that's simple so let's start dive let's quickly dive into the machine so you can see this is my kali machine and you can see i already have a uh, like a rdp connection here and uh, let's uh, create so let me close this thing so this is a kind of my uh, go to to share so i'll start a listener so n v lp and uh, port number 444 you can see these are all the payloads that i'm using so so let's simply start so you can see and i also transfer payloads here so shell.exe and winpeace.exe so which we'll be using so i'll make it in full screen so but the, uh, let's run this shell.exe let me hit enter and uh, now we can see that we got a command line session as well so we got both the sessions uh, which is uh, an rdp session as well as a command line session so if i do a dir a quick dir i already transferred this winp so if you don't know how to transfer we'll be using something called a search util so search util hyphen url cache and hyphen f then provide the url okay so which uh, you are hosting the file on and then also at the end provide the name with which you want to save it on that machine so that it works fine so in order to run the information like win piece for finding out the information about services we already seen an option so which is something like win piece dot exe and services or you can simply type help so this is the best option when you are running for something like for the first time so services info is a thing so win piece uh in the command line session stuck so so let me start it once again so like the command line session got just stuck so so win piece.exe and uh, services info so like you can run the whole thing as well but uh, this is the best thing as of now okay so we'll be only since we are working with the services right so that is what we'll be trying to see so you can see like uh, this is kind of legend so legend we all know like we see in maps right so red if something is red you need to just see, see that out okay so most of the time that is what we'll be exploiting so you might be seeing some others uh okay but uh, those doesn't mean you can do that so there is something like uh, you can see there is a service like unquoted service okay unquoted svc there is a service called as unquoted service and you can see it already found out that there is no quotes or space determined and also guys uh, it's like a kind of challenge for you so there is another service as well so aws light agent so even this doesn't have no quotes and space detected so if you want to practice this on your own like after watching this video you can try to uh, exploit through the help of this particular service so but for now we'll be seeing this particular thing like uh, unquoted svc okay so that is the thing so we got here something like uh, the path okay so let me copy this path and let me show you what we can do so let me copy this thing so i'll explain what uh, like what happens if you don't encode okay so sorry uh, if you don't encode your uh, 
uh, thing okay so so let us assume so this is the path so what happens is like in our path there are some kind of spaces right so in order to bypass these spaces okay in order to make easy for the windows uh, terminal or windows powershell or whatever it is it is always a best practice to include uh, like enclosed within a, some quotes some double quotes or whatever it is but what happens if there is no quotes involved okay so what the uh, command uh, what the windows thinks is like so it thinks something like this so uh, control c so it thinks something like this and uh, the rest it will feel like some kind of option so like we just ran an option like for winpiece there is an option like uh, services info for like even windows think like these are some kind of attributes or options or whatever it is so it checks whether there is a program.exe or not if it is not available then it is going to uh, look for the like consider the next part so it is going to be a folder let me copy this and now it is going to be something like uncoated.exe so it checks whether it is available or not okay if it is available okay if it is available then it is going to execute that but if it is not available so it is going to the next path like this and so on it goes on like that okay so like next it will be going to something like this dot uh, exe or uh, something like that so it keeps on moving okay so most probably it will be going to something like service because it's a fold it's a directory and uh, something like common dot exe and like that it goes on okay so until or unless it finds something to run it goes on like that so if there is nothing like common dot exe or anything like that so it is going to find out the last thing so which is unquoted path dot service dot exe and it is going to run that so this is a kind of issue guys so what we'll be trying to do is like we'll be trying to uh, like uh, ex uh, like upload our uh, reverse shell with a name like common dot exe kind of thing and what happens is like since it is unquoted so it is going to execute and uh, we'll be going to get a shell so it is simple guys so like uh, we got an enough information with this unquoted svc okay so we can even check like uh, access check and stuff so like what we can do is like we can check whether we have all the right uh, read and write direct uh, read and write uh, permissions whether to this particular folder or not so like because we'll be writing some payloads right so which is going to be a reverse shell in our case so which is going to give some kind of access okay so which uh so first of all create an exploit okay so exploit or a payload whatever you call okay and uh, name it something like uh let me do something like this if i do an ls i already have a reverse.exe so previously the shell that i used is of a port for for port 444 so this particular payload reverse.exe is for port 555 so keep that in mind okay so let's dive in so so and what you need to do is like simply transfer that so first of all python to hyphen m simple uh http server and the port which port you want to transfer and stuff like that so the service will be exploiting is uncoded svc so keep that in mind so in order to download so search util hyphen url cache hyphen f okay and http colon slash slash and paste your uh, ip so paste your machine's ip sorry i got pasted something uh like this is i noted them down so paste that and also the name uh, reverse.exe and uh, we'll say with the same name reverse.exe okay so i think i named with uh, so sorry guys so search util hyphen u r u r l cache so typos like you can move like you can move your cursor so keep that in mind slash slash and paste the ip so reverse.exe and dot exe so like uh, typos happen so keep that in mind like like if you take a normal terminal you can move your cursor like uh, sideways or something like that but here in this session we can't move so keep that in mind okay so if you type any command wrong so it is always a best way to like uh, like it is best way to copy all these commands which we'll be using and keep that in a notepad kind of thing and you can simply copy paste you can change the values and you can copy paste and uh, it works fine so now let's see some information about this uh, folder so we already got a folder right 
so we already got a folder something like this so we'll note that down so which is going to be something like this i think we already have that so we noted thing uh, we noted that down so what we'll try to do is like we'll be running this ac access check so we know access check in the sense like we'll be seeing what are all the permissions that particular folder etc has so let's start so we can see that mostly our uh, service is associated with this folder only so let's copy this it is more than enough for us and uh, this particular access check is uh, available in a different folder so you can see all the tools okay so access check is a kind of tool as a name search it checks for the access you can see there is a privilege escalation folder previous folder in this machine itself so or else if you are working on some different machine you need to transfer that so cd slash so if i do a dir you can see there is a folder like previous so cd esc previous okay and uh, what you can do simply do if i do a quick dir you can see there is an access check thing so like there are a lot more applications that you can use so win pc is also available so it's your choice whether you want to transfer it or not so access check sschk.exe so tab everything doesn't work so keep that in mind okay so that's the thing and uh, we need to run an option called as accept EULA so end user like when you run some application right you will be getting some user license thing kind of thing so and run this option U uh, W D U so if you want to know more about this you can simply type for access check okay so access check and you have a good repos a good page for this so docs.microsoft.com you can go there and check this out so like if you want to know more about these options and paste the path within the quotes okay so within the quotes so that it doesn't confuse you don't confuse it so you can see we have like read and write permission to the users so like uh, we are the current users thing so like we have like read and write for all the stuff so read and write for the built-in users so we are the one so which is fine so what we'll try to do is like we'll try to copy that particular reverse.exe okay since we have a leverage uh, with no quotes right so we already discussed so we'll be renaming that to something like common.exe so we'll be uploading that in this path so let's go so what we'll try to do is uh so we'll go to this machine itself so so cp uh, so uh, command is uh, simple so copy okay and then you need to provide this uh, file name which is reverse.exe okay so i'll just clear the screen like uh, there is some kind of issue coming with that particular netcat session i don't even know i need to restart it but it is going to take some time so i'll be for i'll showing you on this thing so copy uh, reverse.exe okay and you need to paste the name okay which uh, location where you want to uh, paste it so which we have something like this so uh, we have something here so let me copy this thing okay so we'll be naming with that uh, in that location okay so uh, let's go back and let me hit enter you can see uh, like uh, if you go to this particular location like uh, this thing okay so if you go to this location uh like let's add the code so add the codes guys so whatever the location or whatever the file stuff is so that is a kind of vulnerability we are discussing so if i do a dir you can see there is a common.exe so since it is unquoted thing so what we'll try to do is like we'll try to start this service so before that try to open a connection a reverse connection so for that since we are on port different ports so nc hyphen nblp and the port which i'm using is port 555 for that particular reverse.exe and we'll start the service so sc start okay and the name is uh unquoted svc let me hit enter and i think within a couple or like we got a session if i do a who am i you can see we are anti authority by system like we are some kind of administrator so that is it guys so so if there is no code so what happens is like i'll just keep a brief so this if this, this is the position okay this is the location which doesn't have code so how the windows thinks is like it checks uh by step by step so it is a kind of interpretation step by step so if it is not available it is going to add and it is going to check like that and it is going to keep on going like that since we have an option for like it since it checks for common.exe right so that's the reason why we uploaded 
okay and uh, renamed it something like common.txt and uploaded in this particular file location and since we started the service and since it is not quoted so that's the reason we got a session so this is as simple as that guys so like if you see somewhere like services which doesn't have quotes like i recently solved a box on hack the box which doesn't have like which i was able to privilege escalate through the help of this thing so it is kind of easy so service exploits are what you see most commonly okay for the windows privilege escalation part like uh, according to my experience but some someone might say it might be different but uh, coming to my experience so so service exploits is what you see most commonly and also guys i will try to uh, complete all these parts okay all these videos okay so as soon as possible so i'll try to upload them so stay tuned to my channel and also guys if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you